uh, hey guys welcome yeah so in this video I'm going to show you how to use F3 from uh, your home screen um, to do uh, three cool uh, things one is uh, limits and two is sums and then three is products now uh, as you can see at the top number one and two are differentiate and integrate so you can integrate and differentiate functions and I'll dedicate a different video to that but uh, for this uh, let's start uh, with limits now if we wanted to find the limit of the rational function 2x uh, minus 3 divided by um, 3x plus 7 for example um, as x goes to infinity we know from our like algebra 2 or pre-calc or calculus lessons that the limit should be two-thirds well let's check if that's in fact true so we do um, this and then uh, comma the syntax is you type the function whose limit you want to find and then you do comma x and then you do comma the limit point and the limit point this time is infinity and there is an infinity button it's right here and it's uh, in yellow so we have to hit diamond and then catalog and there is infinity and now we're done with the syntax close the parentheses uh, and hit enter and as I said it should tell us that it, the answer is two-thirds and there it is right okay cool and just like how uh, there's infinity there's pi right here uh, just wanted to point it out and there's I right there um, yeah so so there's that um, now other than a uh, limit uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is um, sums and products and so you know uh, one of the many reasons I love this calculator is like how uh, some of uh, these uh, options are made so much easier uh, from the TI 83 and 84 like if you try to do sums using TI 83 or 84 what you have to type is like pretty complicated but here it's pretty simple so if we want to find like the sum of the first five integers we need to first like you know uh, tell it what variable to put inside of sigma and this time like um, we can use x although normally like if you're like using sigma you prefer to use the variables i or k and that's how most books are written but yeah like here let's just use x so we're just adding like for example i from like 1 to 5 and so we're saying for x and then you have to put a second x here because like the expression here at the start doesn't always have to be as simple as just x so we can add like the square of the integers for example by uh, writing x squared and we'd still need this second x here to tell it to like add over what so this second x is sort of like what you write underneath sigma yeah okay and the first x is what you write inside of sigma right okay cool 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 so that's uh, better um, well, to communicate all right anyway anyway so we said uh, we're gonna add the integers from 1 to 5 so 1 comma 5 and I already know that that sum is 15 so no surprise and just like a sanity check if we had done uh, the first five uh, positive even integers that would mean we want to add um, 2x right um, and uh, we want to add um, from x equals 1 to 5 again and we should expect that the answer is 30 and there it is yeah okay cool 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 so what about if we want to do products so it's gonna go similarly um, hence why it makes sense to do them together <laughs> um, so product and let's say like the product of the first five integers that's equivalent to doing five factorial right because it's like one times two times three times four times five right so product of x so we still need to do like x um, a second x here for the same reason we had to for sigma and then one and then comma five close parenthesis hit enter and there it is 120 as we expect yeah okay cool all right this is it for this video but keep watching